Uh, welcome everyone. I think just in a sign of the evolution of our AFLW team, uh, really excited to name our new captain, Janelle Cuthbertson, someone who joined our club with enormous experience from Fremantle um, only last year. And so it's been, um, it's been a really exciting addition for Janelle to join our group 12 months ago and, and a sign of her ability to influence and, and lead with humility um, and also lead by example. We saw, you know, last year just putting her body on the line for the team as a, as a key intercept defender and also off field, really bringing our young group along. And that, that's been recognised heavily by our footy club and, and also the players. So I just want to congratulate Janelle Cuthbertson on being our AFLW captain. The obvious choice, Lauren? Oh, look, nothing's obvious in our world. <laughs> we um, Look, Janelle, I think we've got some really strong leadership groups. So, you know, Janelle's been one of one of a group of key leaders in the off season and um, the players have recognised that she is absolutely our captain this year. Mm. Was there a moment you realised you, you had a captain in waiting, potentially, someone who could take the reins, um, whether it was early when you crossed paths or when she was first at the club? Was, was there a moment? I think we've got... The, the older end of our group are really strong leaders and Janelle's one of those. And so I know the first time we spoke when we were even discussing the possibility of Janelle joining our football club, um, there's a real, really obvious maturity and understanding of the environment and what's required to be at your best and, and a real desire to share that in a humble way with the playing group. And I think when you think about generations and how you can lead what are mostly young groups across the competition and particularly ours, um, that ability to connect with a younger player through care um, and guidance is crucial and it's a really strong weapon of Janelle's. What does it mean for you, Janelle, the captain of FLW? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty special. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely honoured to, to captain the Port Adelaide Football Club and um, yeah, I guess for me, like such a club, like so rich in history, such an esteemed club and um, if I guess I look back five years ago when I got drafted to, to Fremantle, um, I can honestly say I didn't think I'd be sitting here five years later. Um, but yeah, just like for me being voted in by my peers and by the playing group is, is really special to know, I guess, that they see you in that light and have that respect for you and um, yeah, for me it's definitely across tennis and football both of my careers, um, probably yeah, one of my proudest moments, I'd say. When did, when did you start to see yourself in that light as a leader? Yeah, I guess over time it's happened. Like, as you get a bit older and you look back and start to connect the dots a little bit, like, the last five years, you know, haven't been easy with football and I've had a fair few challenges in that time and probably 2022 was probably a bit of a turning moment for me and um, I had some really good people around me in that year and... I guess that shifted my mindset just around, I guess, the value that you can add to other people's lives and bringing other people along for the journey. And um, yeah, I guess as I've got older and um, I very much changed my mindset from me to we, and we've got such a good core young group of players at this club. And um, yeah, it's about how do we bring them all along and bring them on this journey. And um, I'm so excited just to see these girls grow and develop over the next couple of years and, and really see where we can take this program. Any added pressure um, inheriting the one from an Aaron Phillips? Oh look, it's it's big shoes to fill. I'm not going to deny that. I mean, Erin's an incredible athlete and an incredible person, and um, you know she's really laid the foundations in the last two years. But I think I'd be doing myself a disservice if I was trying to be like Erin. Um, I'll I'll try and lead like Janelle and, and do my own thing, and um, yeah, like I said, just build on what she's laid in those last couple of years. How did you find out, and what was your reaction when you first got told? Yeah, I found out last week. Um, I had a meeting with Lauren and and Shane and. Um, I think maybe I was a little bit more prepared than I was last year moving into the vice captaincy role, but I still yeah, had no idea, like obviously until I found out I didn't, like there was always a glimmer of hope, I guess, and had that aspiration, but yeah, sat down in the, in the office and um, yeah, Loz let me know that I was going to be the next captain and to be honest, I don't actually know how I responded. I think I was a little bit speechless at the time. Um, yeah, it probably took me a good 24 hours to process it and really until this morning, this morning was the first um, day that I've actually put on the number one so I think it really sunk in when I yeah, took it off the rack and, and put it on and um, yeah it was a very yeah special feeling it was yeah, it was good. It feels like there's a good leadership group as well you've got some good support. Yeah absolutely we've got obviously Ange Foley, Justine Mules um, and Ash Saint has been elevated so yeah I'm stoked to have all three of them on board um, we've worked really closely in the off season with all three of them and bring varying levels of experience and, and characteristics and personalities to the group so yeah, I'm so excited um, to work with them in the next, you know, couple of weeks and really kind of 
I guess, develop and pave how we want to build this team and keep developing it. But yeah, all bring varying aspects of, of what they can bring to this team, which is really exciting. Touch on recovering from those setbacks. How, how much of a whirlwind, uh, whirlwind has this been since coming to, to Adelaide and so quickly become captain of the club? Yeah, it's been a, a pretty uh, pretty quick 12 months, that's for sure. I think I only moved here just over 12 months ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. It's happened very quickly, um, but I guess looking back, like I don't regret anything. I've absolutely loved my decision to move over to Port Adelaide and, you know, this club has welcomed me in, into me and my family with open arms and, um, yeah, I, I love it here and this is home for me now and um, this, this team, this, this club, everything means the world to me. Indicated, do you feel we don't see interstate movement as much in, in the AFLW for obvious reasons? So, when you make that big step and you, you move your family, you move your life over to, in one year's time to be captain in that club, you must, must be a, a, a really rewarding and vindicating when you make a big call. Like. Yeah, absolutely. I think when I moved over, um, you know, I've, I've left my, my little lab, chocolate lab at home, and my family's still in Perth. and. Yeah, they're the closest things to me, so it's definitely a hard move and I miss them every day. But for me, um, a significant, I guess, part of my decision moving over was, was about growth. And, um, you know, I was 32 when I moved over and I kind of thought if I pick up my life at 32 and move into state and it was pretty scary. Um, even though I've done it before at 18, like it still just it scared the sh scared me. It's all right. It scared me. Um, but I thought that was the right thing to do. And I thought with the young group that we had, it was just a different opportunity for me to learn more about myself, more about how I could give back to this club, um, learning in a different high performance environment, different system, um, what I could get myself out of myself as a footballer and, and an athlete as well. So yeah, it, it's all about that journey and that learning and that growth for me. Lauren, for you, obviously, big off season for you in terms of uh, life outside footy. How's it been stepping back into the club and, and what have you made of what's happened in the off-season while you've been obviously a little bit busy. I'm sure you're referencing my daughter. <laughs> um, no, little Marley's going really well and, um, you know, I think everyone says they little children add perspective to your life and, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's harder to leave home now but it's also makes when I'm here, I love it. Like, I absolutely love being here so it feels like the best of both worlds at the moment and, um, yeah, the perspective when I get home and see her little smiles, unreal. I love it. Um, and the girls have been great in sort of you know, I think I had almost the whole playing group come over through Feb and March to meet Marley and yeah, it also means that without having a pregnant belly I can be way more active at training and it's um hopefully having an impact. I've got a lot more energy about me this year to be fair during <laughs> training sessions and yeah, the feedback we're able to explore a few different options when I was pregnant and have the runner involved at training and now this year uh, I can physically be out there and, and get amongst it which has been I think helpful so far. Should be drafted to Port or Brisbane. In <laughs> the mother-daughter rule doesn't apply to coaches just yet, so we'll, um, no, she can as long as she's happy. I'm happy. She's good. Well, how, how do you see the group taking that next step, uh, whether it's this year or over the next couple of years? Well, what's it going to take? Oh, I mean, the evolution for our group is being able to compete better with the best teams. Um, you know, we've seen that in moments in our first two seasons as a team that we can actually we can go with at times for shorter periods of time we can go with better teams um, and when we see we, that we can't, a big gap for us is our contest, ability to win contest and maintain possession of the footy and um, yeah certainly against what was a really strong fixture for us last year we got to see where we were at against the best teams and I think we saw a really obvious gap was contested possession and then our ability to win the ball back and then control it at different points in time so yeah contest is a massive focus for us this year and at the same time knowing that we finished 15th last year and our offense was ranked fifth in the comp for being able to generate score and so we'll sharpen that up again this year and you know hope to improve significantly on contest.